Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabho Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gauravakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gauranga Mahaprabhu Ki <coughs> There is an advertisement which put in the newspaper which says we have a secret weapon with us. You can make fast money. Fast food, fast money. You must be wondering what is this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's class he is talking about uh, money making. So what happens? <coughs> Lot of people go there and sit and watch the, the person who is very skillfully presenting his cases, how to make money. There was pin drop silence. No mobile was switched on. Everything was, especially WhatsApp, that keeps going. Even that was off. So he started speaking about making money. And, uh, well, you could see the interest is if one's benefit is there, if one is going to be benefited with the money, look at the interest it is. We are ready to sacrifice what's up also. So the point what I'm trying to make is, Srila Prabhupada was a best spiritual businessman. He knew how to attract people. <clears throat> he had a command over attracting people to take up the Krishna consciousness. The thing what he had, his sweet voice, his heart was clean, his spiritual thought process was totally dependent on his, his Guru's mercy and Lord Chaitanya's blessing. His uh, one point program, how can I fulfill my desires of my spiritual master? This one, one thing which was there. How can I, he meditated more than 35 years to do it. Huh? The result of his meditation is today we are all sitting here. Is it not a great thing in the world? Huh? You can attract people with anything in this world. By talk with God in the center is very difficult. The moment you say God, everybody will run away. But here is a person who is the same God and attracted and we are all sitting here today. So you are, uh, the progeny of that blood is flowing in all our body. We have to meditate on these things, that what are we going to do by getting this? Every festival of their lordship should uh, enthuse us to go forward. Yes, what we are doing. There are some natural things we already do. But Krishna conscious is inherited by the spiritual master. That has to be meditated on and it has to be followed through parampara. So why I took up this <coughs> example is that so many of us are here five years, one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But still there's confusion in the mind that what am I looking for? What is that I'm supposed to do? We may chant Hare Krishna. We may have a nice Krishna Prashadam. We may do everything. It's going on fine. But there is something which is not triggering inside. Why it is not triggering? It's not I'm telling. It's there in the Shastra. So if you take up this particular sloka, Suchin Chepa, what is that? Tadvi, eh? which is that? The third sloka, Tad, eh? Tranadapi suni chena tarorapi saishna amane namana dena kirtani de sadahari. So, uh, the sloka is everybody we chant, we practice it, we know the meaning. But really, the last portion which says kirtani e sadahari is you have to have this quality to do that. Huh? So unless we have those qualities, yeah, we are doing, we are continuing, 
we are mechanical if there is a transformation from the material energy to spiritual energy that means trinadapi sunichana is acting so you don't have to ask others to do you can test yourself or am i making progress spiritually materially there is no doubt our karmana daivanetrana he make sure krishna make sure you are perfectly you reap what you have uh, sowed in your life so uh, we are not going to check your bank balances but what i am trying to say is you are enjoying your reaping but that is limited to uh, this the very life the, the moment we stop breathing is finished where we are going going to go so any past time of the lord if it is go, doesn't go with tatva then it doesn't reach the heart we may glorify the lord oh lord did this he did he was playing around the flute everything is fine but is it touching my heart is it <clears throat> that which is making me take up to krishna consciousness more seriously nobody is going going and coming and asking you that will you take care of your children will you take it's a natural process but here is a spiritual master who is coming fine your body is there but i'll take care of your soul that is the glory of prabhupada he said body is there no problem but i'll take care of your soul so this is what is con movement is all about it is not just hari katha but hari katha with tatva darsh it shows the path you have to push that because that is to do with your mind in your soul nothing to do external nobody can snatch that right of you interacting with your mind and the soul nobody can do it but when we leave it open then everybody will come and occupy that if krishna is there maya is there ha huh? if krishna comes maya goes out so this is what our life is all about from the day early morning we get up by the end of the day we are tired we don't know what we have made progress so what i said prabhupada is a very big very good businessman all the early morning mangalarti program he pulled off in the morning so the morning program what we practice keeps us the day uh, throughout the day but that for morning whatever 3 to 4 hours what we did is actually the crux of our progress of krishna consciousness so <clears throat> i will go from bhagavad gita then we will discuss something about chaitanya charitamrit and we will end with a bhagavatam on shloka am i right <clears throat> did you all hear <clears throat> and i will try to link this thread of this particular shloka which is most important for us is it okay all right hari bol <clears throat> so the first the fourth chapter of bhagavad gita 34th verse what does he say tad vidhi now what is the meaning of it is shloka you have by heart it you know the meaning if the meaning is touching your heart that you should see he says just learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master inquire him from him submissively and render service unto him the self realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth today if this movement is is on the success theory because of this loka everybody learn from prabhupad and they sincerely follow we don't know krishna we know prabhupad prabhupad said do this we do this right so today the whole americans where they were there what did they know they didn't know anything but they knew prabhupad they loved him and whatever they said he took it up so the word what he is talking about krishna is telling is inquire him from submissive now you can connect this submissive from that shloka which lord chaitanya is talking about so the more we start connecting this is unless the humility aspect does not arouse in naturally from our body or our mind the end result is ego it will stop there we cannot make progress so the first formula of humility which is there which will connect you 
with the the super soul super soul sitting in the heart we are also there the distance is i know very minute but still there is so much separation is it not but if it is for an acharya if you go through an acharya he doesn't think anything else everything he sees through krishna consciousness so prabhupa taught us so what does prabhupa say in the purport the path of spiritual realization is undoubtedly difficult the lord therefore advises to approach a bona fide spiritual master i am stressing this point bona fide spiritual master in the line of disciplic succession from the lord himself no one can be bona fide spiritual master without following the succession the succession when i am talking about immediately you should think of our gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya not any other thing because we are <coughs> by some mercy we got prabhupad in our life so our life of journey of spirituality started from prabhupad don't give place of prabhupad to anybody else he is the one he will be the first and he will be the last as long as you are here right i'm sure nobody is going to be 10000 years in his car with everybody go but the point why i'm trying to make is spiritual master is very very important a role in our life just like the parents make an important role in our children's life it made a, it mattered for us our parents took care of us today they took care of us that's why we are here now they took care of our body but here is spiritual master he says i will take care of your body as well as your soul ha iha para both i will take care and who is that parampara so here comes shila prabhupad so decisively he is emphasizing on yes disciplic succession and he should be well realized and he says that original spiritual master should be coming from krishna <clears throat> so one has to approach a bona fide spiritual master receive in the purport he says to receive such knowledge such spiritual master should be accepted in full surrender and one should serve the spiritual master like a menial servant one more point i'm connecting now service menial service without false prestige so naive anarthas very difficult to that's why prabhupada says very difficult to practice spiritual life in the among devotees certainly somewhere or the other it will be there oh i am better than you i chant better than you i do better deity dressing than you i cook better than you so many things can come up that is right <clears throat> it is there but when we are practicing this sadhana bhakti and somebody tells you you are nothing to decide i decide for you then where is the question of you giving credit to yourself you can't pat your back i should pat so first aspect of understanding is that you don't have existence your existence is because of spiritual master uh, why i am telling spiritual master yes deha dehi is given by the parents that's there but they have limitations but here is a spiritual master who is representing krishna and krishna is telling that the moment you leave this body you follow me you will go back to you will come back to me i am sure here everyone who is sitting here wants to go back to krishna am i right i think it can be a little bit more yeah. actually i am inspired <laughs> so the point i am trying to say is that every word of these things should not go to the mind it should go to the heart okay mind can be the media so they don't let your mind also come in between when we are practicing this kind of krishna consciousness it will answer all your doubts and you yourself feel oh i am making progress with with humility that is that humility also follows now let's see what lord chaitanya says now krishna established he told arjuna arjuna for arjuna krishna was there for us who is there he said parampara now lord chaitanya what does he say let us see <clears throat> he says brahmanda brahmite kone bhagyavan jeev guru krishna pae how many of you have got this what you have not got batila beach i thought <laughs> you are all recipients of lord chaitanya's mercy is it not doesn't matter that seed is there it is sprouting or not we will think about it later now can you say you got it 
Yes. Now I'll, I'll go to the next question. Whether it is sprouting or not, we'll see. <laughs> now he says, <coughs> what does he say? He says, Guru Krishna Prasade Bhakti Lata Bija. When I'm discussing this, please don't think of your neighbor, think of yourself. Because always, sometimes it's the, we get a feeling that it is for him. No. Today's class is for me, that's why I'm also speaking. It is for you, you thinking, what is it for me in this? Right? <clears throat> so now, what does Lord Chaitanya says? He says, according to their karma, all living entities are wandering throughout the entire universe. First. So we were all wandering. Right? We still wandering. Right. But we have landed in this con. Yeah. <clears throat> Then what he says, some of them are being elevated to upper planetary system, some are going into the lower planetary system. Out of many millions of wandering living entities, one who is very fortunate gets an opportunity to associate with a bona fide spiritual master by the grace of Krishna. Now you can think, wow, I've got this. The point is, he says, by the mercy, if you all think Srila Prabhupada is that spiritual master, is it not true that, that you are a recipient of that Bhakti Lata, that mercy of their Lordship? Is it not? So the next thing is, you have <coughs> Krishna has given direction, you have approached the disciplic succession, in the process you are wandering. And you did not go to upper planetary system. You did not go down, but you have landed up in Iskhan. Correct, no? Tell him, correct or not? Because he says, you go up, you down. But I am telling you, you have come to Iskhan on the shelter of Sri Prabhupada. So he, what he is telling is, you will get a bona fide spiritual master. That means, you are more fortunate. First one from there, we learn from Krishna. Now Lord Chaitanya is telling, you are fortunate if you get a bona fide spiritual master. So now, 11th canto, 2nd chapter, 29th verse says, Durlabha manusho deho dehanam krishna banugraha tatrabi durlabha manye vaikunta priyar darshanam. He says, for a conditioned soul, human body is difficult to achieve. I am correlating with how fortunate you are. I am giving you Shabda Praman from the Bhagavatam that you have to understand how fortunate you are. You are a son of a very, or a daughter of a very rich merchant. You have everything in this world. In the same way, when we get a bona fide spiritual master, you don't require anything. You have Krishna Mata, Krishna Pita, that is established by Lord Nityananda Prabhu. He says there is nobody else, it's only Lord Chaitanya. He is my father with a mother. So when we talk about that spiritual through the Atma, it will directly relate with Krishna only, nobody else. Because Krishna also emphasizes in Bhagavad Gita, I am the seed giving father. He did not say Lakshmi is giving you the seed giving father, mother. He didn't say that. Even she, he is coming out of Krishna. So Krishna is complete, he is inclusive. In the same way, Lord Chaitanya is inclusive. <clears throat> I will establish that when you go a little more further. So here, the, he, what does Prabhupada says <clears throat> in the purport, very strong points he is making. Prabhupada states in that purport, in the life come from life. He says, living beings move from one body to another. The form already exists. The living entity simply transforms himself from one apartment to another apartment. How many people have changed apartments? Many people have bought here also, around the temple. But this apartment will be good, don't worry. So one apartment is first class, another apartment is second class, and the third one is third class. Suppose a person comes from a lower class to first class apartment, the person is the same. So, but according to his capacity of payment of karma, he gets his better apartment. Now, durlabha mana deho. That means to say, you have done something that you have got a human life. So, one more credit into, <coughs> in progress of our spiritual life. No, there will be crashes in between, don't worry. But we will, how, we will see how we can overcome that. 
So, <coughs> Lord Chaitanya had three <coughs> ways of exhibiting himself. He exhibited himself as a devotee, as a simple <coughs> devotee. You have seen his life, how it is. Then the second aspect of Lord Chaitanya was a perfect Acharya. When he come in, he is coming in disciplic succession. Right? He is a perfect <coughs> Acharya in that disciplic succession. The third aspect of Lord Chaitanya, which is very rare, he revealed his supremacy that he is Radha Krishna to few of them. So that is very selective. So that selective is abundantly available in Gaudiya Parampara. So that means today whoever is sitting and following in the Gaudiya Parampara, so we have these three aspects of Lord with us. Right? So <clears throat> the easy way and the process of understanding is, if we understand, I am going towards that particular sloka, if we understand that properly, our life is made. We are success 100%. Nobody has to come and judge that. You yourself feel, oh, I am going in that direction. So Lord Chaitanya's three, what is it? As a devotee, what he did, eh? he was serving everybody. Till he got his spiritual master, he gave him, the moment he gave uh, him diksha, the whole thing transformed. So in the same way, we all have got diksha. We have the holy name. But what happened to Lord Chaitanya? The moment he got initiated, he became mad. <clears throat> but we were mad, we are becoming saintly. Because we were mad with Maya Devi. She will plunder us outside. Take this, buy this, buy this, you know, complete. Shop this body, that body, woman's body, child's body, so many things. So, well, that is why we are going backwards if you see that time and again, you have to understand how fortunate you are. Don't miss that link of your journey when we started that. So, this is the point what uh, the next point comes up is that three one. So, Lord Chaitanya here, he was 16 years old when he defeated Digvijay Pandit. Now, Lord Chaitanya was a Pandit. His way of humility to defeat Digvijay Pandit establishes the fact how humble he was. So this is where we have to put our uh, <coughs> understanding uh, points there. Focus there. How did he de defeat the Digvijay Pandit? So humble you are. So this material world is full of egoistic people. Very difficult to take them to Krishna Consciousness, including us. We asked so many wonderful questions the day we came to Krishna Consciousness. Before that, somebody came and asked. We asked hundreds of questions. I am going to defeat this guy. But after some time, that humble devotee made you sit here today. Is it not? We were proud of ourselves earlier. Oh, I was so and so, my parents so and so, I came out of IIT, I came from BBT, I came from so many, so many tags were there. And you told him, I'm this, this. After a few months, that same person goes, oh, he says, no, I'm a servant of a servant, he says. Is it not true? So, this is what <coughs> the association master matters so much. What did Lord Chaitanya say? That fraction of your association with the devotee, with the book, that devotee with a uh, sweet <coughs> meat made you change your life. What does Lord Chaitanya say? Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. So has it not applied to all of us? Someday, one moment we met somebody and today we are sitting here. Huh? Chanting 16 rounds, getting early in the morning. So many things have transformed in the life. So there are external aspects which is changing. Then, <coughs> so now, the point which I am trying to now make is, when did this sloka he gave? In the 47th year of his life, maturity. When Lord Chaitanya was asked, give us some instructions, give us something. At that time, he gave this instruction. That means maturity matters a lot. So he was practicing what he was preaching. That's what Prabhupada did. So somebody can just make it like that. But Prabhupada was, but Lord Chaitanya didn't like that. You go through his series of his pastime, 
what the way he was humble he humbled so many pundits so if you have to today to uh, preach in the outside world you have to become humble you have to become with humility only you can you know reach out to the people so these are all the things which will uh, you know sue people to our uh, parampara or come to this temple so humility is it binds jesus christ did the same thing his humility you know people uh, you know started following him so lord chaitanya related with humility and this loka is very very uh, intimately connected because he practiced it then so now he did not do he gave eight shlokas in that eight shlokas he is talking about cheto darpana marjanam uh, he's talking about uh, glorification nam nam akari the third one he is talking about there are that is trinarapi suni chena tarapi saishna amane namana dena kirtaniya sada hari so one who is humbler than a blade of grass more forbearing than a tree who gives due honor to others without desiring it for himself it is he is qualified to chant the holy name of lord chaitanya charitramrita third canto sixth chapter uh, 239 verse it is not an ordinary sloka <clears throat> so if today if we have not made any progress in the hari naam that means to say there are three steps which we have to look into it so the acharya explains the three aspect he says you can only become qualified if these three things ripen your heart then your kirtan it will touch krishna <coughs> so these three what are these three things he is talking first is tranarapi sunichena you can understand yourself if you analyze yourself how qualified you are when you say i am not qualified then you are not such a big personality in the material world all right what matters is internal that is why you have to become naturally humble you have to inherit this quality by not superficial not by by heart by we'll go further you will know how you can achieve this then the second one what is trying to make is is this being tolerant taror avi saishnuna there is so much disturb around us there is you can't deny it and tolerant you have to be necessary family life you take sanyasa also there also it is a problem now you can say no i cannot be tolerant but certainly you are tolerating you know maya devi from so many kicks she has given you but still we will sleep under her uh, lap is it not we forget so that means you are tolerant only to the wrong person <clears throat> see these are all things which you have to meditate on oneself then our progress will be you know uh, which which realization so the whole of chaitanya charitamrita all real fully realized devotees their action speaks for itself everything what they were doing was based on these things they were uh, so humble uh, we can't even imagine you can't imagine that vasudev uh, datta the worms would fall down from his uh, leprosy he would pick that and put it back impossible huh can we do that can we at least clean the floor look at the humility so the point uh, here is tolerant we are tolerant to certain selective things certain things we are not tolerant so that means this mind if it directs you in a particular direction you are very happy that is fine but tolerant go and ask a person who has got cancer not devotees non devotees go and ask him he will say cancer band bitti da आ गया अभी कुछ नहीं कर सकता मेरे को भोगतना पड़ेगा वर्ड बिकॉज डॉक्टर टोल्ड हिम कुछ नहीं कर सकता योर नंबर ऑफ मंथ्स सो दैट गाय हिज अंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग टू डाई इवन दो सो मेनी डिजायर बट ही एक्सेप्ट इट यू कैनॉट हेल्प सो वाई शुड वी कम टू दैट सिचुएशन एक्सेप्ट लाइक दैट 
So tolerance is there. Fine, you tolerate the abuses, then tolerate the abuses of sadhana bhakti. Uh, if the sadhana bhakti you can tolerate getting up early in the morning, <coughs> doing your prescribed rounds, or uh, at the most trying to serve the guru, hearing the Bhagavatam, all these things. You know, that is sadhana bhakti which will help you. The tolerance level of that three to four hours, what is there, will let you, you know, catch up, which will make the 100% there. Then the third aspect of uh, Amanena Manadena, wow, this is most difficult aspect. But at the same time, if you want a job, you want a job, what do you do? Humbler than blade of grass. So there is selectivity. I am trying to find flaws in mine. I am not trying to find faults in you. I am just trying to share with you is how we can empower ourselves to move further. It's not that it's not there. I am just sharing the fact is, yes, these qualities are there for the wrong reasons. So what is the, what the right reason is that whenever you want some work to be done, you will catch their leg. You What not you do? Is it not? If you want to get one license for your house building, go and see what all he has done. So where is the If you want a job, you have to go and If you want a school seat for your child, how many namaskar you have done? Huh? Parikrama. Govardhan Parikrama we do. <laughs> so it is not that we don't do. There is there. Amani is there. Because that is the inherent quality which is there. Dormantly sitting there. You have to eject that. Give one kick. That is this sloka. Tranadapi suni chena taroipi seshna amane namanadena kirtane sadhari. So these three aspects, what I am trying to say is, this is there with us, but we have to, uh, you know, move towards understanding, yes, this also has to be done. All right, do that. But when you do this, your spiritual upliftment takes that lift. So, uh, Prabhupada says, being humble and we don't get time all because. How much time? Have? Ten more minutes. I have to be tolerant. <laughs> okay, let me rush. So give honors to others. Everyone wants some respect. Give it to them. So if you analyze the Rupas of Goswami's character, you learn everything. What did he not have? He had everything. He had position. Born in a good family. Eh? Well read. But when he went and met Lord Chaitanya, understood what he is, he fell like a rod and says, I don't know, people call me, I'm so and so, but I don't know anything about myself. This is humility. So Lord Chaitanya is speaking these verses to Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami. What has turned? So uh, many of you are in the same parampara of Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, good position in the world, a lot of money. Uh, well, family, beautiful children. Very difficult to surrender to Krishna, is it not? But still you are sitting here. That means, Brahmanda, Brahmite, Kone, Bhagyavan. That Bhagya you have. Oh, Bhagya. Brahma is, you know, putting his head like this. What fortune all these gopis have done? That Krishna is, you know, playing around with them. Many places these words are used. Huh? So when you read the Bhagavatam, when you read Chaitanya Charam, when you connect these things, what is, is not a pastime, it's a realization. Because Brahma is thinking like that. You are no less than a Brahma in your house. You are no less than a Brahma in your uh, factory or your whatever you are. But when you think like that, Krishna is happy. Because you are thinking of Brahma, but now you are taking Bhagavatam, Krishna is pleased. He will relieve you from that. For devotees, Krishna doesn't kill them. He will reform them. For non-devotees, there is a possibility that he may have to change their body. Huh? For Hirane Kashbu, the same lap, what gave mercy to Prahlad, gave death to Hirane Kashbu. So mercy and compassion is there. At the same time, death is also with him. But both are actually elevating. So here in Krishna consciousness, the question of death doesn't come. It reforms us right from 
that's why when a pure devotee curses us corrects us you don't have to worry you change for good so <coughs> continuing in that direction shri lag rupa goswami nice past time of rupa goswami and gopala bhatta goswami once they were discussing about on shloka so rupa goswami discussed with gopala bhatta goswami about one that shloka i am not quoting here so he quoted that it was very nice it came from his heart and uh, <coughs> gopala bhatta goswami learned it he says very nice can i make a small correction he said rupa was no problem but he knew there was no mistake in that shloka according to the acharyas he knew very well but look at his mood no problem whatever you say i'll accept so he corrected that shloka the moment he corrected the shloka rogo swami took it with humility he says thank you very much but there was one more person watching what was happening that was the nephew of <coughs> jeeva goswami was watching sen sanadan goswami and gopal bhatta goswami left from that and uh, so when he was going jeeva goswami caught up with him and said that uh, see, <coughs> you corrected that shloka and uh, i find that shloka is correct by itself why did you change then he gave the reasons why it is correct the moment he heard this gopal bhatta goswami goes back to uh, uh, rupa goswami in falls at his feet and says i'm sorry i corrected you people and he asked him how did you uh, arrive at this no i was corrected by jeeva goswami and gopal bhatta goswami goes off and here is a point for us to meditate he says he calls jeeva goswami you are not fit to be in this place this is mahaprabhu's moment you go from here what else do you want shabda pran so if you don't have humility this is not a place but if you are sadhana bhakta so first thing is that humility aspect has to be inculcated in our life and prabhupad was a four mountain today he won this world who are still full with of the people if he has established such a wonderful movement it is because of his humility and is dependent on his guru maharaj one thing uh, what shila prabhupad was mentioning in his uh, uh, when he landed up in america i was thinking about when he said that i have come to this place you want make me dance you would make me dance sometimes i wonder whether prabhupad is making krishna dance or krishna is making prabhupad dance if krishna is come here is it not prabhupad made him dance no you please look at this aspect how prabhupad wherever he went he spoke to krishna he says you stay here he established krishna everywhere who is dancing to krishna uh, this whether prabhupad is dancing or krishna is dancing why i am establishing this fact is such a pure devotee shila prabhupad this he could establish krishna anywhere he went he could establish krishna in a you know uh, in a car shed and the same deities became big palace and they are building a beautiful uh, palace in mayapur so krishna can place anywhere i mean prabhupad can place krishna anywhere so icc also is one recipient where prabhupad wants a krishna temple here and you people are the custodian of this legacy huh you are coming in this parampara we have to promote this we have to preach we have to expand yesterday maharaj was giving class ha huh? krutu prabhu he said 51 you all retire i was myself thinking my god 51 may retire ho jao ha huh? i was thinking everybody will walk away from here <coughs> so he said that but the point is <coughs> it is true that 51 we have to make prabhupad said you have to retire but the 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 thing is we are not in uh, dwapar yuga satyuga such so such sudden changes happen maybe i want be surprised of our children retire even at 30 40 because the krishna conscious movement is growing the more krishna conscious movement grows maya devi's effort will 
influence will come down. 200, 100 to 200 years from now, you can see uh, uh, more devotees will be inside Iskan than outside. It's going to happen because it is a revolution happens right from Shankaracharya time. When he started preaching, it was spreading like anything. Madhvacharya came, he started spreading. Lord Chaitanya came, he started spreading. And Prabhupada, he, he took from all these Acharyas and he went to America and he exploded it right where it's going to the nook and corner of the city. Prabhupada never spent so much time in Russia. It is expanding like anything. Because Prabhupada desired it. So if Prabhupada is desiring if this to happen, who should help him? His disciples, his followers. So if today if you have recipient of Srila Prabhupada, somewhere or the other, you have to understand, you have to contribute towards his movement's growth. Don't think just we give money, that's it. No. There's various ways of preaching to Krishna consciousness. By money, you can't make devotees. By relationship makes <coughs> Uh, devotees. So if Trinadapi Suni Chena is not inculcated in the our heart, you can't make relationship even including the house. If you can't build a build relation with your children or with your parents, that means somewhere we are wrong. The, uh, uh, you have to put that effort of this aspect of because ours is an inclusive aspect. If something which cannot be done at home, how it can be expanded to us? So our house is this Bharata Varsha. Huh? So when he says Brahmanda Brahmiti, we are all spread over. Today you are in this part of the city. It is your birthright that you have to make this movement grow in this part of the world. Uh, you all have to take this onus on oneself. Whatever little you do, do it with sincerity. Do it with commitment. Let uh, not complacency come in that way. If complacency comes, okay, he is doing it, no problem. Our brahmacharis are there, they will do it, it's okay. No, you contribute somewhere or the other. Pray to your neighbor, somewhere or the other. That takes uh, 100%. So it is a unified world of Krishna consciousness. So this Trinadipi Suni Chena Taropi Saishana uh, is so important. That connects with three aspects. What does Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur write come? Because he's already told me the time. I have to get, get going. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says, the transcendental conception of thinking, I am the dust at the lotus feet of spirit, my spiritual master. The second one, I am the servant of Guru and Krishna. He is meant to be Jivadaya Namaruchi Vaishnava Seva. Now, Jivadaya, Namaruchi, Vaishnava Seva. I'll go from the last. So, Vaishnava Seva, when you start doing Vaishnava, Vishnu, or his devotee, Seva, actually begins our progress in spiritual life. So, this is from where, when we start. Because the day I came to Krishna consciousness, little become I serious. First thing I was showed, <coughs> shown, why don't you clean certain things? So the cleaning process is there. That means a servant comes to your house. She will come and she will not ask you that I will do this, this. Nowadays they will tell. But earlier it was not like that. They will come, they will tell, my dear sir, what should I do? Nowadays they will come and say, I will only do these things. Because the position has changed. <coughs> the fact of the matter is, the position has changed. But according to the Shastra, Vaishnava Seva, your identity is Dasanu Dasa Dasa. Nobody has said this. Lord Chaitanya himself has said that. Today is his appearance day. We have to meditate on his points which he is telling time and again. So, if Vaishnava Seva is done nicely, eh, then what happens next, next point? There is compassion coming up. Jeeva Daya. So compassion comes in the heart, so everybody. Why we have only compassion to our own uh, children, our own swajana? Because relationship is there. Well, why relation I have got with his neighbors? But we don't have this. So that is another point. When you see everybody is progeny of Krishna, where is the elimination? Every jiva around you 
He is a recipient of Krishna consciousness. Correct or not? Say Aribol. <coughs> so the point is, sometimes I go into a slumber. If you don't say Haribol, then I can't move forward. <laughs> so the <coughs> so the Vaishnava. Then comes Namaruchi. This is told by Bhakti Siddhanta Swaritakur. You do do these two things, then automatically taste develops. That's why Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu emphasized on this. The parampara is going in that direction. Bhakti Siddhanta Swaritakur emphasizes on this loka and he gives this meaning. Now I will go to Krishna Kaviraj Goswami. Now listen very attentively, very important point. Krishna Kaviraj Goswami says, he himself wrote this Chaitanya Charitamrit. He is making this point. Oh, I am raising my hand, taking a vow. What vow he is taking? Please listen, devotees. <coughs> Urdva buhi kari kaho suna sarva loka nama sutra ganti parama khanti ye sloka. What is that sloka? He is telling that trinapi suni chena taropi saishna amane namana dena kirtane sada hari. Please make a garland, put it around your neck, he says. So you will go home and put on that there. Huh? This. He says, that means to say, our Vajja Vaiduriya jewelry is this. He is this beautiful characteristics of Trinarpi Sunichena, all the four characters which is there. He says, sew it and make a garland and keep going around. And who is telling this? Krishna Kavirat Goswami, not an ordinary person who wrote Chaitanya Charitamra, glorified spiritual master. He is highlighting it. He goes further, he says, that Uttama Hana Vaishnava Habe Nirbhinna Jiva Samana Dina Jani Krishna Adhishtana. Although a Vaishnava is most exalted person, he is prideless. Now we are call, calling ourselves Vaishnavas. He is defining a Vaishnava is most exalted person. He is prideless. Gives respects to everybody and to everyone. And he makes another point. You should know everyone. Everyone is a, a resting place of Krishna's feet, he says. Now you should find a heart, take out your heart and see where is Krishna's feet. So he says, be careful. Every person you meet on the way, Krishna is sitting in the heart. So how do you be with him? No exemption. I am not making your life miserable. Please, sorry. I am trying to make us understand sometimes we are obligated to our spiritual masters, some obligation we have to commit. So when your progress of spiritual life, some amount of time you have to keep it for him also. Like fixed deposit. Whatever other doings you are doing, that will sit in one compartment. But whatever you are doing in another compartment for the spiritual master, that sits in another compartment which is not material. Whatever you do, good things, it will be there. It will get ready for your next birth. But what you do for your Guru will not allow you to go to the next birth. It will take you back to Krishna. So that is what he is telling here is, Trinadapi Suni Chena. So if you don't contribute towards this planning of Suni Chena, Rupi Saishna, then it is very difficult for us to go back to Krishna. Because the Namaruchi does not come. I'll end up in five minutes. Okay, now he gives the example. He is, I know so much, no one knows as much as me. Be free from this ego. He is talking about now Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur was beaten in 22 marketplace, but he was tolerant. Then, example of Prahlad Maharaj. He was tortured like anything when the parents. Are you thinking your parents are not torturing you? Actually, if you see subtly, they are torturing us also. Suppose you want to go to temple, hey, pagal hoge kya? School job. So, if you see from spiritual viewpoint, what they think it is good, it is not good for you. What you think is good through Shastra is good for you. So, it is not that... <coughs> 
the parents, whatever they are guiding us, materially should be okay, but spiritually you have to go through Bhagavad Gita. That's why they will never give Bhagavad Gita into your hand. Today, if Bhagavad Gita is, uh, Swayam Prakash goes to every school, gradually he will be a master here everywhere. Then he gives Bhagavad Gita to all students. All the teachers will become their students. Because every student who takes a Bhagavad Gita and starts reading, he will correct the father. Like, you are supposed to be uh, teaching me Bhagavad Gita. I am teaching you. You are not practicing. Come, let me teach you. So who is Guru? Who is Shishya? We don't know. All right? So a person who takes up the Krishna consciousness through the mercy of Prabhupada and our devotee here certainly is going to make tremendous program, progress. <clears throat> now, Bhagavatam, come to this point. Canto 4, Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, 6th Chapter 47, Purport. What does Srila Prabhupada says? Very sweetly he says, Krishna conscious movement has been started to deliver envious persons. He didn't say good persons. Krishna conscious movement has started to. So one day you were envious. I don't know. You can tell by yourself. <laughs> I was envious. So he says, envious persons of the world from the clutches of Maya. Even though the devotees are sometimes put into trouble, they push Krishna conscious movement in all tolerance. Today, if they are going to be tolerant, that is because of uh, the mercy what they have received from Prabhupada. Because when you go, how even Nityananda Prabhu was felt at stones. And what to think of in the present world, we have seen in Russia how devotees were persecuted. So many places. They are even in Bangladesh, we are seeing today. All right? We are only glorifying people who die in the Pakistan border. But the people dying for Krishna, nobody knows. It's so important. So, in that Prabhupada says, uh, continues, he says, One can chant the holy name of Lord in the humble state of mind, thinking himself lower than a straw in the street. One should continuously think and then start. Now let us come to Bhagavatam, Prachetas. What is Lord Shiva is speaking about? Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, 24th verse, 70th verse. He says, O sons, he is talking to uh, <coughs> all the prachetas, Shiva is advising. Uh, he is telling, therefore, O sons of king, the supreme personality of Godhead is situated in everybody's heart. What did I say before? <coughs> what did uh, uh, Krishna Kavirat Goswami say? What did he say? Everybody's heart is a recipient of Krishna's sitting there. Now, the same thing is talking, Lord Shiva is telling the same. That's why Parampara always makes sure it will come in Pakka. There is no ambiguity. Everything is systematic, no complications. Just time, place and circumstances, uh, certain things are added or uh, principles remain the same. Details could change. Now, Lord is Lord Shiva. Therefore, chant the glories of the Lord, meditating upon Him continuously. He uses the word asakrat. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also says kirtaniya sadahari with this mood. So Prabhupada emphasizes in that purport. So many places Srila Prabhupada emphasizes this particular sloka in his purports. So by going this, still we are uh, miles apart from this sloka. That means somewhere or the other we have to have a course correction. So if that course corrections happen within the heart, I will tell you there is a tremendous change in our life. Okay, I'll come to the last. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> so there are, <clears throat> in conclusion of this particular uh, pastime of uh, Chitraketu, then there is Parvati and there is Lord Shiva. It's wonderful how Lord Shiva uh, actually is interacting. Now you see the, uh, how we become impulsive certain times, even in high positions we are in. So when Lord Shiva uh, was speaking about the Bhagavatam, giving his lecture, he was preaching to all these people, Parvati was sitting on his lap. And Lord Shiva, you know, he, ha he has a bare body. And Shiva is sitting. And Chitraketu, he was 
blessed by Sankarshan. He was a great devotee. He was a pure devotee. And he was going like that. The moment he saw there, what happened was, suddenly he saw Lord Shiva. He is such a great person. How can he do this mistake? That all came into his mind. The moment he says he chastised, but there was no reaction from Lord Shiva, but somebody else reacted. It actually hurt. It's supposed to be somebody to the husband, but the wife is reacting. Generally, it happens. <laughs> somebody else get the beating, you suffer. This is material world. So the moment Parvati gets instigated, she curses him. Actually, the affected person is Shiva. And the person who, uh, who is correcting him is Chitraketu. And here is Lord Parvati. And the way uh, Shiva corrects Parvati, she says, oh, beautiful wife, she says. Look at the humility of catching somebody's attention. He did not boss over her. He uses the word, oh, beautiful wife. You are supposed to be a beautiful woman. Your heart should be also so beautiful. So whatever mistake what he has done, he is actually nothing wrong. He is just correcting me that way. And the moment you cursed, look at that person, he didn't react. Already he had changed, Chitra Ketu. So if you see this triangle, how a pure devotee among us can, you know, place us in the right place. So if Prabhupada becomes that one point of our contact, and his disciples and this movement, this institution, we are blessed. Somebody or the other will protect us and go, and they will recognize our faults. So today, don't feel bad if somebody comes and corrects you, even though you may be right. So accept with humility. This is what it is. It is difficult. I am not going to say it's going to. But there is no harm in practicing. Practice, practice, practice makes you the... <clears throat> so, the final sloka of today's uh, <clears throat> class. It comes from, Krishna explains to Uddhava, in Uddhava Gita. He says, my dear Uddhava, <clears throat> now Uddhava is reacting to what Krishna is speaking. So when he, uh, when he starts speaking, he starts Uddhava Gita. There is an exchange between Krishna and uh, Uddhava. Now Krishna has told him that I am going to leave this world. Now you have to take over. So in that process, Uddhava is speaking now. He says, even though neglected, insulted, ridiculed, envied by bad men, or even though repeatedly agitated by being beaten, tied up, deprived by one's occupation, spat upon or polluted with urine by ignorant people. The point what he makes, one who desires the highest goal of life, in spite of all these difficulties, uses his intelligence to keep himself safe on the spiritual platform. Now somebody comes and urinates on you, you will rip him off. The same one comes, the child comes and same urinates, you will carry it, oh, oh very nice. What is the difference? Both are urine only. The consciousness matter, relationship matter. Who is doing it? Because you know the child, it's my blood. He can kick me, he can do. In the same way, Lord Chaitanya says, Krishna, do anything with me. You kick me, do, but you keep me at your lotus feet. The prayers are correct, but to the wrong person. The thinking process is correct. The relationship is correct to the wrong person. So relationship matters a lot. With identification it goes. So here what is he is telling? Pragna. If he has done anything you do with him, he is not bewildered because he is sitting on the transcendental platform. He is sitting in the nice place. So sitting in his con today is the safest place. But not progressing is a dangerous thing. Somewhere or the other, you have to evaluate. I can't or you can't. You have to evaluate yourself. You can't get bewildered when your child is 10 year old. All right, he becomes 40 years. Still you are telling my putta putta you are going. What is it? This is all fine. That relationship is there. That is for the child. You are somebody's putta. 
your somebody child he is waiting our guru is telling you please come i will take you back to garden no 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 my putta is there i don't want to be your putta <laughs> so the shastra praman exposes this naked truth one has to dig into it take the flow of ba- balaram and dig your heart it will open up rip open and slowly these things will go so the seed of this bija is there it is sitting there so it's not all sprouting i was telling you know what is there the seed it is still there now you have to open put some f- fertilizers put that is this trunadapi sunichena tarayapi saishna amane namana dena kirtane sadar hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, thank you very much. Please uh, forgive me if I have wrote some passion or things like that. I'm just trying to share uh, through the, the process of sadhana bhakti. We have wonderful Srila Prabhupada in our life. we have his disciples we have beautiful institution we have krishna prasadam we have beautiful kirtan and the matter of time we are transiting from this small temple to a big temple if you don't get ready to enlarge your heart the people who are lying there will not come in so each one of you open your heart temple door will open but you don't shut so krishna conscious movement what prabhupad opened he says everyone can live in this house so icc bangalore shortly going to open the bigger doors but you are the custodians you are the owner of this temple of legacy of shri lokprabhupad it's not me it's all of you uh, so if you don't prepare yourself then somebody else will come and open the door thank you very much <clears throat>